it obviously starts with Spencer Reeves, who, who's been here. This is his third year now in our program. Been on call for the last two years and, and just bringing what we expect out of him. You know, leadership on and off the floor, great kid. You know, carries a, almost a, a 4.0 GPA and, uh, you know, is, is probably the leader of our team. Uh, you know, and, and just brings a lot, lot to the table. Uh, he can score from all three levels, gets to the foul line, and then he's, he's one of our more consistent uh, defenders as well. And, and uh, next, Jacob Lowrance has had a great summer. He's had a great fall uh, and, and really has trimmed himself down, got in the weight room, uh, you know, and, and has shown his ability, he, he's really shooting it at, at a high level right now. Uh, and I think he moves his feet better, and, and that's a testament to him and, and the offseason and the work that he put in. And, and uh, you know, those two are, are probably the guys with the most experience, the guys that know what it takes to win on the road in this league. Um, you know, and, and counting on those guys to, to relay that message to the new guys. Uh, DJ Richardson, who's having an unbelievable fall. Uh, he's been injured uh, with his Achilles and ankle type injury with some tendonitis. Um, we're, we're expecting big things out of him. He got to play second semester last year uh, and really had some big games late, especially in the MIAA tournament. Uh, and, and he carried us some games. I mean, he's, he's a big wing, uh, a guy that can get to the basket. He's, he's really worked on his jumper in the offseason and it shows. And uh, you know, I'm really pleased with where he's at and looking for a big year from him. Um, I think we'll have some, some guys that registered last year. Uh, Michael Winger, Marvin Joseph, those guys have, have really added, um, you know, with Marvin, some athleticism, really good defender. He, he reminds me a, a lot of what T.J. White brought to the table, a guy that's always around the basketball, gets deflections, uh, an energy type player. Michael Winger is one of the better shooters in our program and uh, really has done a nice job. Uh, along with Matt Wilkinson, uh, I think Matt's a lot better player than he was in his freshman year, and, and I think he would be a good player in our program for years to come. So then talk about some of your new players, what you're expecting out of them. You know, we, we got Blake Spellman at semester last year, which is huge for, that he was here for a whole semester uh, after transferring in from Northern Kentucky. He was Kansas City Area Player of the Year at, coming out of high school two years ago. Uh, a guy that we really recruited out of high school uh, hard and uh, lucky to have him. He, him and um, Daniel Ferris, Peanut, uh, a freshman from Vachon High School in St. Louis, those guys will be battling it out at the, at the point guard position and, and really like what, what both those guys bring. Along with Phil Winston, he's another guard. Um, and I forgot to mention Clarence Smith earlier as a returning guard, but those, those guys will, will be uh, out of a, Add a lot to our perimeter. Uh, Phil is really an athletic guard, uh, a guy that really slashes through the basket quick, strong, and I uh, think he has the presence defensively where he could be one of our better on-ball defenders. Uh, and, and then we got Dwayne Clark, who is um, big. He's a load, 6'9", 250, uh, and he is, he is really a, a physical type dominant low post player. And uh, he's been at he's been battling a, a knee injury, but uh, but he's done some good things and, and continue. Uh, hopefully, he'll continue to, to get better and work hard and practice every day. All conferences like to say they're the best in the country. We can obviously prove it with you know how many recent regionals and right. championships. So a couple of years ago, we won a national championship. How does that make it? We can say we're the best. How does that make it fun to play in the MIAA? Well, you know, it, it's going to be a high-level game every night, and uh, there, there are no night offs, uh, one through 14 in the league. It's, it's the, the margin of error is so small, and uh, that's you, you try and relay that to your guys, and, and that's what I kind of hit it on with with Spencer and Cobb having the most experience. They know what it takes, and you, you want those guys to relay that message along with with what we're telling and uh, you know it, it, it takes a, a a strong knit team that chemistry and, and fighting through adversity because there's going to be you're going to face a lot of adversity in this league and it's those teams that are, are willing to overcome that and, and stick together and in, in good times and in bad and you're going to face some bad times because of the, the amount of good teams um, and so you just gotta gotta stick together and, and, and find ways to win because uh, kind of like at the end of last year, I, I, I 
So let's let's just skip ahead the first 36 minutes, play the last four minutes, because it seemed like it was a, a one possession game late in the game, and with under four or three minutes to go, and uh, and I anticipate that it will be the same way this year.